The Vito Valor 300P uh, fuel cell, it's unique because we are providing the heating peak boiler solution as well as the hot water uh, provision for the household as well and then the electricity part of it. So that's the reason why it's one big unit. Um, the way it works that we have uh, the fuel cell which is the, the part which generates electricity. It converts the natural gas from the grid into electricity by splitting the molecules into two elements which is CO2 and um, hydrogen and the hydrogen element will then be uh, used in the stack which we react with the, with the oxygen uh, from normal air and the, this type of what we call cold combustion will then um, uh, generate the electricity. The electricity, the stack, because of the cold, cold combustion product will also generate some form of heat because hydrogen and oxygen are very, very reactive to each other. So that cold combustion will then uh, generate some heat. That heat will be then dumped, which is the one kilowatt electric, which we're quoting in here, um, um, will be then dumped into that 170 liter buffer vessel, which is uh, com uh, installed underneath of the, the, the boiler unit. Um, inside the buffer vessel we have a, a large coil um, where we are preheating the cold water for the hot water supply before it goes into the actual 46 litre hot water cylinder tank. Um, that will have an advantage that we will keep the buffer vessel temperature below our level of 40 degree um, and utilising the, the energy for hot water as well. And then the other, uh, when, when the buffer vessel has been heated up uh, to a certain temperature above the return temperature, then we are dumping that energy into the heating circuit. So we are preheating the return before the return goes into the normal gas condensing boiler uh, process. The key, uh, key objective of a fuser is to um, have the fuser running, operating for as long as possible. Um, a fuser which stops and starts and stops and starts is um, not very good from the homeowner's point of view because we will not generating enough electricity. So um, this fuser will run for 20 hours um, and then it will go into a rest period. The reformer which is built in the, in the fuser needs to uh, recalibrate itself, cleaning itself, etc. Et so in that 20 hours um, we want to run that fuser um, for most of the time. The unit is, it comes in two parts. We have the fuel cell unit as one part and the uh, peak boiler unit in, in, in another part, which then will be wheeled into the position. The installation from the heating point of view is very, it's more or less the same as the normal gas boiler technology. You have the flow and return t uh, connections, you've got the gas connection, and then you've got your flue terminal. The fuel cell is then connected to the peak boiler through two pipes. Um, well, three pipes. We have got the um, water uh, connections to the buffer vessel, flow return, and then we have obviously the gas connection as well because the fuser needs the natural gas to operate. So we provide the, the connections within that um, peak boiler. So the installation from that point of view is very much uh, is easy. It's pre-wired, pre-factory fitted, most of the items. So the connections the installer will see are quite familiar from that point of view. Um, where we have to um, be more um, um, aware of is the electrical connection side of it. The fuel cell, as part of the G83 requirement, has to have a direct uh, connections to the consumer board. Um, so it requires its own MCB circuit. So the installer needs to check whether that's available, whether he consumer board has got enough space available to put another separate MCB circuit on there. You can't connect the fuser to a normal ring mains or spurs you have in the, in the plant room or wherever you're installing that, that fuser.